Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, Machine Training Solutions, Ask the Machine Anything. This question comes from Bart. Mark, got a question. What is your opinion on FST7 and high volume training, 8 to 15 reps in particular? FST7 is fine. You're doing low rep sets, and then at the end you're doing this uh, seven, seven sets of 10 to 12 reps. That's fine. That's what we like to call a burnout um, exercise, a windmill, whatever the hell you want to call it. Bottom line is, I don't believe you're stretching the fascia. I believe it's great marketing on Hani's part. I think Hani's a great trainer. Um, anybody who brings Phil Heath in shape, you can throw all your stupid uh, you know, conspiracy theories about that. <clears throat> um, he, he brings people in shape. Um, is, is he really stretching the fascia? I'm pretty sure it's not happening. Um, but nonetheless, you're basically going with heavy ass weights. You're stretching between sets, increasing blood flow, and then afterwards you're you're doing a flush set. That's awesome. So I'm all for that. Um, high volume training, eight to fifteen reps. Yeah, that's fine. That's the muscle building zone, eight to twelve reps, six to twelve. I believe in all reps and all training methodologies if used um, in a in a you know a fashion where you periodically change things up, periodization. So yeah, FST 7s fine. Hottie's a good dude. He gets people in shape, and um, I, I I don't have a problem with him. So yeah, that's it. Anyway, this is Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Ask the machine anything. Peace.